we have a tremendous amount of very positive feedback from that previous video where it outlined how GPT can enable an OKR process. And, but people are asking, how the heck do we make that happen? So let me give you a quick overview of what we've done for quite a few organizations. What you're looking at is a rough map of what that strategy creation to execution cycle looks like, where we start off with strategy development through creating that top level OKRs, the North Star, doing that organization alignment, what some people call cascade or connection down the organization. And from there, into performance monitoring, uh, appropriate performance meetings, follow-ups, and one-on-one -on -one performance conversations. So I'm going to give you some examples of what the cheat sheet looks like. Now, what we've learned is in this process, of course, this is not artificial intelligence. It's, it's useful, but it's not accurate. Like, it's not complete. It's going to set you some directions, but you still need your brains and wisdom to take it the next step. So in order to make this work, one of the key things you need to do is get the right inputs into GPT, right? Garbage in, garbage out. So when we create the cheat sheets, what we're going to look at is outline, you know, what's the stage that we're doing from the previous chart? What are the issues that you're trying to address in that stage? What are the inputs? And this is critical, right? You get the wrong inputs, you get the right out, wrong outputs. And then examples are the sorts of questions you can ask GPT. So I'll give you an example. One of the first steps is you know, creating, uh, you know, you've got a strong model of that strategy and you want to assess it. So what you need to do is, is inputs to GPT, do things like outline what is that overall strategic objective or objectives. What are the constraints of your organization, your know, resources, timing, and so forth. What's your organization's current performance in those categories and constraints? Maybe what your competitor's strategy is so that GPT can help find where those gaps might be between the two. As well as things like what are your market conditions that you're playing with, what are the technological changes that you think are happening, and other profiles you have like your uh, risk appetite, uh, what you're doing around ESG, what you're doing around DEI, and so forth. Those are the inputs that you give it. Then the questions you can ask it are things like, you know, hey, GPT, please test my strategy against these five scenarios and give it the, you know, the five scenarios your team's been working on. Or, you know, the Roger Martin model, you know, what would need to be true to make my strategy successful? Another question you can ask is, please assess our strategy through the eyes of a regulator or through the eyes of an employee or through the eyes of a customer. And what this does is instead of having to take this to your leadership team, you can get the wealth of wisdom of a team before you take it to the team and round off some of those corners before you, you approach your team. Uh, outlining these things on the inputs, you could even ask it to give you some alternative strategies to the one that you proposed. You can say, do something like, uh, you know, identify five risks associated with the strategy. And by the way, in this documentation, what's in the uh, pointy brackets is insert your content. What's in the quote is, you know, choose your number um, or create five scenarios around which the strategy would be successful. So the idea of the cheat sheets is it begins to outline what are the inputs you need, what are the questions you need to ask and so forth. So we built this out for all the steps. And all I'm suggesting here, you know, contact me if you want to uh, get access to, you know, what these steps, uh, inputs, questions look like. Uh, this is over an experience of, you know, 10 or 20 different clients. So we're beginning to build a knowledge base about this. These aren't correct. These are merely directionally and as merely to answer the questions I've been having about, you know, what does it look like to interact with GPT? And of course, these are available across, you know, all those different uh, sections. So hopefully this has been useful to you in considering how it is you can begin embedding GPT into your OKR strategy development and execution cycle.